Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company. Uh, you don't get to see me today. I'm sorry. I wish I could see you all. Um, but I am really here with a very quick tutorial. Uh, it's getting close to Christmas and I did promise that I would do a few tutorials. Let me get that out of the way. Um, a few tutorials and this is just one. This is so fun. So if you want to make some special envelopes for people, maybe um, you want to just do something fun for your junk journals, but this would also be cool to include like a gift card so um, or money. So I made these really adorable envelopes and I thought how cool would this be um, if you're going to give something like a lot, you know, a long card or a gift card and you can find a page. These are from books. This is from a book, uh, an older book that just uh, teaches you how to speak French. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool. I honestly couldn't even decide which part to cover. I'm just using a paper clip to close it. And then on the inside, it's so cool. This is the kind of thing when you give it to somebody, they're like, I, I don't, I don't want to throw that away. I'm going to use it for something else. At the same time, it's really, really good for your junk journals. I mean, they're just so cool to put in your junk journals. So I did that one. These two come from a, they're, they're slightly different. Um, not that different. These two are from the book on uh, learning French. So you got a nice big one. The, so if your book is tall enough, and this one's actually quite big, this particular one, um, you know, I could probably fit a small book in there. Uh, I have this. Now I've, <laughs> I love these so much. So these are my pens that have, you know, they're, I got these from Timu. Uh, they have a different pen for every day for December, for, you know, every day of the week in December. Like um, Wednesday is Whoville Wednesday. Something like this, guys, actually fits. What a cool, I, I think it's really cool. I mean, what a cool thing you can give to somebody. They open it up and again, um, they really have this really neat envelope. Um, so I'm going to, today I'm, we're going to make one. We're just going to make one. Um, and I wanted to show you this one that I already made from this book. This is just a step into reading book. Um, Balto was, I liked that, you know, it really felt wintry to me. Um, so when I take this off, I have this, I, I just really liked this scene. It's very watercolory and I get the boots at the top. Um, inside, it's really mostly, guys, picture. Super cute. And of course, you know, you could always stick that inside. You could always give them to them like that where that part is, is inside. So let's do one. Um, and we'll start by picking something cute. And that's hard. Uh, well, it's not hard. It's just finding what I want to use um, and the directionality of it. So this is a beautiful book. It's got beautiful illustrations, but I really have to think about directionality. I want something that's up on this side for, for what I'm doing. I want, I want the picture to be up here. So when I fold everything over, I get it going in the right direction. Um, I could do it this way too. It's just, it's just gonna be a different kind of picture. Um, let's see, the train's kind of cool. Should we do the train? Let's do the train. The train's kind of cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of pull this back a little bit. I want this kind of flat. So I can pull this page out. I really don't want to rip the page. So as I start to pull, I'm really getting it as close as I can. Not too bad. All right, we got the whole picture out. There's nothing on the back, so that doesn't bother me at all. I gotta move my book out of the way. Pretty far out of the way. And I'm gonna bring in my lovely cutter. I did get, if you notice, the, the table isn't shaking. I moved to my kitchen just for today. Um, and I'm working with, yet again, another new um, uh, mount for my camera, for my phone camera. Uh, and so far, so good, I think. All right, 
So I'm just going to do a quick, quick cut. Get rid of that loose edge. Oh, I'm going to grab my scissors in a minute. Okay. So I decided I really wanted this picture. So I'm going to fold it over like this. You can see right away that this is going to stand out. And then I have to figure out how much of a flap. This is going to be my flap. How much of a flap do I want? How much of this picture do I want in the picture? I want most of the picture in the picture, but I also want a decent flap. All right, I'm lining it up pretty even. And I did not bring my bone folder in. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, all right, but I'm really just folding it. And then I wanna fold this top bit over. I will tell you, I, I don't like folding it like straight over so it hits that edge. Um, you can see here I'm leaving myself, mm, it's maybe half an inch, maybe a little, maybe a quarter inch, um, but I don't want it to hit. I just prefer not to, because uh, that gives me a little bit of, of wiggle room. Well, like with this one. You know, you can see I left myself a little bit of an edge, and that meant that I could put that inside. And I'll show you uh, the difference between this, where I can do that. And let me show you this one. This one, notice that there aren't any, oh, any um, loose sides to this one. They're, I mean, they're, and they're both perfectly gone. And they both fold in, so. Um, I'm gonna do this one like this, so that you don't have. So you don't have these little flaps on the inside. I did that one on purpose like that, because I feel like it gave me a wider um, envelope. Um, I feel like it did. Did it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay, so these are nice and neat. So far, so good. I've just folded it over. Made some decisions and folded it over. I like that it says from Gnome at the top here. Okay, so now, um, right now I'm just working on folding. So now I'm going to fold this over. That's a half an inch. That's a little bit harder to get straight. I'm going to have to... It's like any time you're folding paper. Paper likes to be wonky sometimes. It doesn't like to always do what you tell it to do. Okay, there's that. There's that half inch. I'm trying to do this one. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, let's take a quick look. That's so cute. Get that drain in front. Okay, so if I was going to do it this way, I would just go ahead and start, you know, doing some attachments. But I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to actually do some cutting with this one. Um, and that's really just, uh, it's going to make it a little bit slimmer and a little bit, just a little different. All right, let me grab my scissors. Give me two shakes. Talk amongst yourselves. I left my scissors in the other room. I can't believe it. Okay, maybe I didn't, but they're not here. What did I do with them? Oh no. Alright, I'm honestly. That's crazy. Alright. Well, can't find them. Don't know what I did with them. I have lots of scissors. I am, however, just gonna use my I'm gonna use my kitchen scissors. These should be fine. Because it's really not that difficult. So here's what I'm gonna do. And take this out 
and I'm gonna do a little trimming. I'm gonna start by trimming just a little edge there. Not a lot. I wanna get right on that. And I did a little, yes, it's, it's a tad curved on this one. So that one's done. Then, I know this seems strange, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna cut a little bit here. I am gonna cut a little bit there. And then, this is what breaks everybody out. I'm cutting this whole thing off. Now I do have to be careful. And honestly, I could have cut from either side. I'm just gonna go this way right now. Let me get that right. I'm gonna get it right on. There we go. I might have come in a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just gonna measure it up a little bit, make sure that I'm pretty even. Okay, I need to trim that just a little bit more. Just a wee bit. Literally, I'm just kind of shaving it. That's better. Okay. Now, I am just taking my wonderful um, Ad Tech tape. I actually really do like this stuff. It holds very, very well. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Oddly enough, Hobby Lobby actually has the best price. Okay, this is the only tricky part. Let me do it this way. Getting it even to start with. That's it. That's literally it. Look at that cute little envelope I made. <laughs> okay, so now, I'm gonna make sure that I, yeah, there we go. I can fold it in. It says from Gnome. Um, I love having this picture up front. Now, there are other things I could do with this. To make it feel even, um, you know, to not have kind of this exposed edge, I could simply cut that down and I could have attached these pieces in the back and left the envelope without anything inside. Let's do one. You've seen it now, so if you want to hang out with me now and see me do another one or something slightly different, I'm going to do something slightly different. Because I really like making these. <laughs> I know. I know. All right, let's see if I find another cute one. I mean, I could do that one. But I really want to get that guy in it. That's cute. Let's try doing that one. All right, let's... This one's gonna be pretty similar. I'm not trimming much. I don't wanna trim a whole lot. I want most of that page intact. See? Teeny tiny. Mostly it's just folded. All right, so with this one, I know I really want this guy. That means 
if I leave it like this, there's not a whole lot of room for my flap. I want a wee bit more flap. So I'm kind of looking at it. I'm okay losing a little bit of the trees. So I'm just gonna trim off. I'm just gonna trim a wee bit of the trees. I'll lose a little bit of the smokestack, but I'm okay because what I really wanted was to ensure I could see the guy shoveling. Oh, I actually really like the way that looks too at the top when you open it, isn't that cute? Okay, so that turned out nice, 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 nice. All right, now again, I'm gonna try to fold it over. This one's probably gonna be a little bit tighter, but I do not, for me, I want to give a tiny bit of space at this top. I just don't want it to be, you know, right on top of, um, uh, of, of the top. Right on top of the top? I don't want to go on top of the top. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to fold it over. Let's see. Let's see if I can, oh, that's further away. Let's see. Now you can hopefully see what I'm doing even better. really want to get that pretty straight. I could certainly use my bone folder, but I left it in the other room and that's all the way in the front of the house. So I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to do it this way. I hope you're okay with that. It's been a long time. All right. I'm actually doing tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the, um, But that little basket I showed you guys, I'm excited to, to share that with you. Okay, so here we go. Once again, we've got our, our little thing together. I'm gonna do it the same way I did the last one. So I'm getting rid of these corners. I, I will tell you, that corner is super hard for me to see. I'm actually gonna use, hmm. I gotta be really careful here. Oh, oh that was good. I'm kind of using the, the camera, but it's so hard. Oh, that's so much easier. Let me do it from that. All right, so good to know. I'm gonna try to do it at the same kind of, I did that one at probably a pretty steep angle. Now I could even this up. I've seen people do this. Um, to make it a little bit more even, I can do this. Oh, I actually got it pretty close. <gasps> Look at that, I actually got it pretty close. Holy cow, okay. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. So if I hold them together like that, I can just... Now they are literally exactly the same. Um, you just have to be careful don't, not to fold too much. If you fold it too much, you're definitely gonna leave it uh, um, the fault the crease in your paper because paper creases okay so now I'm going to do I actually cut in at a tiny angle right there and on um, this side just a tiny angle because that's the one I'm keeping and then I'm going to use this side because I see better on this side and I want to get it pretty super duper close to that line. I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Let me pull it back out again. I think that that's too close. It's the, um, do it this way. I don't know if you can see, I am getting a bit of a glare back. There we go. Okay. All right, so this time, instead of putting my tape on and putting it down like that, I'm gonna fold it in. I'm gonna do it this way. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Roll, I keep doing it the wrong way. Uh, just gotta laugh. Most days it's just so much easier to laugh. And you may notice I'm actually going right over the top of 
the back of the envelope too because it's just going to add additional strength. And this tape, I also love it. Once it's adhered to your paper, it's not going anywhere. But on my table surface, I just rub it. I just rub it off. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to fold it over here. This is a bit like making um, a pocket fold for our library book. Get how cute that turned out. It's not, it's not folded exactly right now. I'm gonna have to try to. Now it is possible to fix a bad fold, but that does require a bit of a burn folder. There we go. I can do it that way, and again, when I open it, look how cute that is. And the other thing that you can do with this, you can leave it as, a, uh, you know, certainly as looking like the book page that it is, and, and we already talked about putting it on the inside, um, like this, especially if you have something cute coming out. Um, this one actually, uh, because of the way I pushed it in, this is allowing more space on the inside. So it doesn't, you notice that it doesn't fold completely flat. Um, and I should have talked about that. Now I can get it to fold flat, but by doing it the way I did it, it there's more space. The inside can hold more. Um, anyway, so you can leave it just like this. You can do the, the um, fold on the, this side. You could also decorate this fold. So I could, um, for instance, I could do some inking on the outside. Um, I could add some washi tape to the outside. I could add some special um, paper clips to the outside. That's it. That's all you do. Let me know what you think. Tell me in the description, please. You know how I love, I really love to hear from you guys. And, um, and I will talk to you next time when we do the baskets. Cheers.